is Alex here, your V-Ray guide, and today I'm gonna show you how to create V-Ray Mesh. Some of you might know it as V-Ray Proxy. Um, this basically procedure of taking a complicated model and converting it into V-Ray Special model in order to save RAM and execute faster renderings. Okay, so as you see here, I got uh, one pretty much complicated model of uh, classic chandelier, it's classic lamp. And as you see here, the render was done in uh, 57 seconds. Um, so let's see uh, how we can uh, make it a V-Ray proxy in order to uh, speed up our render. And um, I'll show you some other tricks uh, how to duplicate it later on. Okay, so in order to make V-Ray proxy, first of all, we need to open all our groups uh, and uh, make one mesh, okay, uh, one object. Okay, so I'm going to open all my groups. As you see here, I got pretty much got three groups. Okay, that's it. As you see here, I got a lot of uh, a lot of objects going on. So everything must be ungrouped. Um, the better way, of course, uh, if you select the whole model, uh, you need to isolate it. Is the best way, and only then to work it. So you will not attach some different objects from it. So um, the hotkey for uh, isolation is. Uh, Alt Q. So we press Alt Q. We're going to isolate your model, and then you select uh, one part of this uh, object, and you go to uh, Attach List. And you, as you see here, I get all the uh, all the objects, all the uh, parts of my um, of my um, chandelier of my model that I need to attach. Okay. So I'm going to press Attach, and uh, I'm going to select here uh, Match. Material it is to material, so it's basically going to create one, uh, one big multi sub materials with all the materials that my uh, chandelier includes. Um, sometimes in complicated models uh, like this one, this procedure might take a while, so um, we might uh, wait a little bit till this uh, stuff happens. Um, so just a few words about Vire Mesh. Um, you can take this model after converting it, of course, to V-Ray Mesh, and you can duplicate it by using Instance option. This option will basically allow you to save in memory uh, the same amount of, uh, of memory usage for this model. So basically, if you duplicate your model by using Instance option uh, and not Copy option, uh, you're basically saying that this is the model and uh, use it only one... Uh, one portion of memory for this model, even though you have duplicated uh, several times. Let me show you this example. If I'm going to duplicate it, for example, I'm going to drag and drop like this. We have instance and we have copy. If we use this instance, it's basically we're using only one model as a, as a reference. Our 3 Max uses this only one model and it takes uh, resources of only this one model and it duplicates it automatically. And um, of course, every change that been made to this model is going to be applied to all other models. Okay, so uh, I'm going to click uh, cancel because we want to now convert this model into V-Ray Mesh. So um, we need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Chandelier. I'm going to press right click. As you see here, by the way, as you see here, this is one model is. Uh, one attached model with all the vertexes and everything. So you gotta have one object, one solid object. And then you click, um, right click, V-Ray Mesh Export, and you get this window where you get uh, the follow, uh, folder destination. Um, by default, it's been saved in 3D Max Export. So if you're working locally, uh, it's very advisable from you to save, uh, to go here and select your local folder for all your V-Ray meshes for this project because uh, V-Ray meshes, V-Ray proxies, they need to be uh, in the same folder with 3D Max file. If it's not with 3D Max file, uh, your 3D Max will not find this object, will not find the V-Ray proxy and it will not appear in the render. So basically if you take your scene and you give it to someone else for, uh, I don't know, for later uh, improvements or something like that, you have to include all the V-Ray proxies inside one folder together with 3D Max file. Okay. Um, here are the options, here are the next options, export each selected object in a separate file. This is what we want to do. 
this is the name uh, of our uh, of our file and this is the place where it's going to be selected so basically this is the destination and this one is the same okay we can see here that we have an option to export animation uh, if you have like complicated stuff like characters or something like that with a lot of uh, polygons going on you can also export their animation it will uh, easy it will make your render uh, much faster and easier okay so uh, just remember to tick this option here automatically create proxies so basically what it uh, will do it will take your model and it will replace it with the proxy model and um, it will just uh, remove your uh, old model from this scene okay after you've done all this stuff press ok and uh, wait a few seconds and voila here we go we have here one solid uh, V-Ray proxy chandelier as you see here and we have also the destination for uh, this uh, this uh, V-Ray mesh file as you see here in 3D Max export the default folder for uh, for this model being saved okay um, so uh, let's go ahead and execute this render and see uh, if it's if it's basically the same or uh, if it's uh, if it renders any faster okay so um, just uh, just a few words about V-Ray proxies um, you can build forests uh, you can build a forest actually with this or for example if you're building a parking slot you can take a car you can convert it into V-Ray proxy and then by using instance option you can duplicate it along your parking slot and you can create like 20 I don't know like 50 cars for example but your computer will actually use uh, memory for one car as, as it uses only 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 one car only one proxy um, this is one of the really um, good things about V-Ray that I like uh, you can create uh, those objects those V-Ray v -ray proxies and uh, you basically can build huge amount of uh, polygons like huge scenes and it will be still easy and fast for rendering and for uh, for executing um, and for getting like fast results and everything okay so um, as our render goes comes to the end I hope it will be a little bit faster than the previous one um, but anyways um, using the instance option as I said before, if you're creating a restaurant or something like that, you can fill the whole ceiling with those proxies and it will actually will not take as much memory as it would uh, with actual models. All right, so our render is done. It's basically the same time as it was before, but uh, we have created a V-Ray proxy right here. And um, as you see, uh, we don't see um, the real actual model. We only see the um, structure of, uh, of the V-Ray proxy and um, we'll be not will not be able to modify any polygons or move something inside the, this object because it's already closed as a V-Ray proxy but what we'll be able to do is uh, we'll be able to select it and um, move it duplicate it with instance option and uh, this option is basically what uh, the V-Ray proxy is meant for as you see here whoops sorry just clicking pressing shift and dragging you can create an uh, instance of, of the same uh, object as I said before it will be only used as it was one chandelier one object and you can duplicate as many as you want right here for example 20 or something like that and your computer will handle everything pretty much uh, easy as you see here are duplicated 20 proxies and some computers with such big amount of uh, of models might even crash on that stage but my computers keep going just because i have this proxy model all right um if you enjoyed this tutorial post a comment below ask me questions if you have any uh share it with your friends and if you want to have this chandelier you can download it below this video hope you enjoyed this tutorial this was alex your viewer guy talk soon Ciao.